I guess we look pretty silly at the moment. But uh, when it comes to ratings classifications, well, it's seriously important to choose the right movie for every member of the family. Films classified G are for general exhibition. They can be enjoyed by the whole family. Ride like the wind, bullseye! <laughs> I know that you and I got off in the wrong pot. What do you say? Want to be friends? When viewing films classified PG, parental guidance is recommended for persons under 15 years of age. <laughs> That was a hell of a thing. Films rated M are recommended for mature audiences, 15 years and older. <laughs> Movies classified MA cannot be seen by persons under 15, unless in the company of a parent or adult guardian. Oh, you kill him! You kill yourself! Hello! Ah! Give me back my son! Oh! <laughs> Movies rated R are restricted to adults, 18 years and over. <laughs> so, choose the right movie for your family. Film classification ratings help put you in the picture. Are you really Tommy Gunn's daughter? I can't believe it. Molly Gunn was a rock and roll princess. I'm a fan of your father's thing. Who led a charmed life. What is that? He was going to be my curry dinner one night, but we fell in love. This one's for you. Can I have him for my birthday? Molly, focus. Until reality. Your electric has been canceled. Who pays your bills? Bob. Gave her a wake-up call. Bob Kapowski disappeared. With a hundred million dollars. Now, the girl who never grew up. So what do I do about... Get a job? Is about to face her biggest challenge. Oh my god. You're my new nanny. <gasps> the agency must really be getting desperate. Look at these cute little skulls. <gasps> you got your germy drool of my plastic skull, you freako. Kid, have you ever been to a shrink? Since I was three. Give me that plate. Oops, no, sorry, you might infect it. No! <gasps> Get a brew. I am employed by your mother. Do you see her anywhere? News flash. You're working for me. I quit! Swinging door. I don't know what's been going on between you and my daughter. But you're right, because you don't know your own daughter. MGM Pictures presents... You can't act like a kid anymore. Don't leave like this. Brittany Murphy. What's so great about being a grown up anyway? So I can turn out like you? You're scared. Dakota Fanning. That's kind of harsh. It's a harsh world. In a comedy about a grown up who needed to grow up. We are going to sit in giant teacups and spin round until we puke. Are you insane? And the kid who taught her how. You and I, we're going to be friends. Grown-ups never stay friends with kids. I don't see any grown-ups around here. I do. Uptown Girls. In one week, Paul and Karen are getting Whoa. married. Meet me yours. But first, they'll have to survive the in-laws. You nervous? I, I, it's, it's totally, it's... Not really. The rehearsals. I am your lady. We're flying, Paul. Can you feel it? Hmm. We got Tiki Girls! And the guy thing. Bachelor party! Wow, you really suck at this. Yeah, it's my first day. Could you buy me a beer? Yeah. Which is about to change... Uh, everything. Hi, sweetie. I'll be right over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, good morning to you, too. How's the bachelor party? The funny thing is, we didn't sleep together. We didn't? I mean, we slept together, but we didn't sleep together. I can't find my underwear. Uh, can I mail them to you? Yes, please mail them to me. They're my only pair. What, what are these? I don't know. Wedding planner. You haven't even met my cousin, Becky. Hi, Becky. You 
looks so familiar. I get that all the time. You do? I'm in over my head. What's up? I got a visit from my lunatic ex-fiance. He's got a uh. steroid rage problem. You messed with my girl, Cupcake. She's gonna call off the wedding. Ah! Her dad's gonna fire me. Shut up! He'll probably even shoot me. Bullseye! Take a chance. She's not trying to ruin his life. She's just trying to show him how to live it. We should run. <laughs> it just takes some time. <laughs> Jason Lee, Julia Stiles, Selma Blair. In a comedy about good intentions. We're men. We're hunters. It's a guy thing. And awkward situations. If there is anyone here today who believes that these two should not be joined, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Or her peace, you know. A guy thing. Anybody at all. Come on! It began as just another day on the south side of Chicago. All right, now listen up. Give me your wallet and your jewelry won't be no problem. Hey, <laughs> get your sleeping boys alone. Sit down. It became an extraordinary day at the barber shop. I need a cut. A little off the top, long in the back, but not quite no shag. Slope to the left like Gumby. Eddie Monster in the front, a little white clip on the right. Come on, hook that up, fine. From MGM Pictures and the producers of Soul Food and Men of Honor. Push it through! Hey, hey. Ah, my you wanna know how I really feel about you? Just think about that baby face song. Which one? You know, that tell them. It would be all of them, baby. If you don't pay the property taxes, the bank is gonna foreclose on the shop. I made your father the same offer, but you're a better businessman. You got vision. How could you sell this place? You know we're trying to get our recording studio off the ground. You can't give this up. Ice Cube. Your father wouldn't put up with this mess. Do I look like my father? Yeah, yeah, yeah you do, man. Pretty much in the nose. Anthony Anderson. Sean Patrick Thomas. Eve. And Cedric the Entertainer. Yo, Daddy, he believed that something as simple as a little haircut could change the way a man felt on the inside. Sometimes, finding the strength Get out. to do what's right. Here go your money back. I'm putting it right here on the table. Man, you're going to take this money. You're going to take this money. It's in the people. We can't talk straight in the barbershop. Then where can we talk straight? Right beside you. Rodney King should have got beat for driving drunk and being grown in a Hyundai. Oh. Barbershop. Man, get you good. Hey, y'all, look at this lady. <laughs> Cameron. Oh, man, that's a good car. I got one of them. I just bought one. See, this smooth. When he get through, his face gonna be real smooth like Gary Coleman. <laughs> Chief Whitlock. Chief Whitlock, it's Anne Marie Harrison. Somebody just broke into my house. Why don't you tell me what happened? He came toward me. I guess. A respected cop. 485 grand. Can I touch it? No, you can't. Maybe I'll just steal it. Maybe I'll just shoot you. A moment of truth. There's been a setback. It's come back very aggressively. Why don't you tell me, maybe? What about that experimental stuff? They're extremely expensive. A time to discover. What is this? Money. No, meet me at my house. That nothing is what it seems. Sheriff, Ann Harrison's house just went up in flames. Check it out. Definitely arson. What are you doing here? I'm a homicide detective. There's dead bodies. Look at what they got on me. An eyewitness saw me outside their house the night it blew up. He looked like him. He's the chief of police. <laughs> How do you solve a murder? I gave it to money. The DEA is on line one. I'm going to send a couple of agents down there to pick up that cash. When all the evidence... Anna Ray names me beneficiary on her insurance policy. Points to you. Alma? Home by myself. They set me up. 
You got something you uh, want to tell me? I need Prince ASA to cheat you, okay? Just do it! Look, I'm done. Listen, we're straight upstairs. I'm safe. But I'm not mine. Oh, that's the guy. Where the hell is the money? All right, all right, all right. Out of time. Have you ever bought or rented a videotape that wasn't quite right? It may have been a pirate copy. An illegal and inferior copy for which you paid good money. Pirated tapes are recognisable by poorly presented or photocopied jackets, poor sound and or picture quality, the lack of sensor and other labels on the face and spine of the tape, and the absence of warnings, such as this at the beginning of the tape presentation. Pirate tapes rob artists and studios of their rightful income and add to the cost of a video to the consumer. Video piracy is a major problem in Australia. Please help us stop it. If you buy or rent a tape which you believe is not the genuine article, please phone this toll-free number for advice. Or write to Post Office Box 515 Monavale, New South Wales, 2103. This message is brought to you by the Australasian Film and Video Securities Office.